Hello friends and welcome back. We're continuing to take a look at this new series from JHS Pedals, the three series. Uh, seven new pedals, all $99, and every one we've tried out are just extremely impressive. Today we're taking a look at the distortion. And um, in seeing the videos that Josh, uh, the owner of JHS, has put out over the years, I know that the Proco Rat has always been one of his favorite distortion pedals. And this has got a lot of Rat qualities, but as with all of this line of pedals, even though that they've produced a great line of budget pedals, these are not clones. Uh, he has said himself that in any circuitry that they have duplicated, they've changed enough things to either give it some, you know, added features, some different voicings, um, just a lot of things that you can do with this. Simple pedals with an on and off switch, one toggle switch, three controls. Simple, great sounding, affordable. It, it's hard to beat. Um, take a look at this. The knobs we have here, of course, the volume is just our, you know, I'll show you what uh, I'm playing this uh, beautiful Mirage through a Hot Rod Deluxe on the Clean channel right now. And so that's our bass line here. Okay, kick this on. I've got things here. Uh, the filter on here is kind of rep reminiscent of what you had on the Rat. It is not a roll-off tone control. It's more of an EQ sweep of different frequencies to just accentuate different parts of the spectrum. And as you get into the mid-range setting, you do it does have an effect on the gain as well. I kind of like it midway or, you know, on the darker side. Come to the dark side. I always like that sound a little bit better. Uh, the distortion control can range anything on here from, and this is with the toggle switch in the up position. I will have to say this because it's a different animal with the toggle switch down like a lot of these pedals are. Um, with the distortion down at the bottom, we're getting... Some nice crunch there. Up around halfway or close to it, we start getting into the distortion territory that I like. And one of the things that I do like about the way they voice this is whether you go to the dark end or the bright end, a lot of distortion pedals can get really flubbery, that's a technical term, for that um, nastiness you get when you're playing your low E string high up on the neck. Even on the neck pickup here, this pedal stays tight. That can get really nasty with some distortion pedals. On the leads pickup. I mean, for, based on a clean channel and just, you know, throwing a distortion in there to get your sound, that is not bad at all. I'm not a big fan of distortion pedals, but this is quite usable. Um, the other thing I like about it is a lot of pedals, I find a disconnect between what you're putting into them and what you're getting out. And even if I like the sound, the feel of playing it is just not natural to me and it kind of affects my playing. On here, it's... not only responsive to the how hard you dig into the pick, but rolling this back. It's much
much more of a natural gain structure than you get out of a lot of pedals. I definitely appreciate that. Okay, now down in the bottom setting, which says gain, so you know in Josh's world, you're gonna get something there. And what we get here, a little bit of a drop in volume because we've got a lot of compression happening here. Compression, more saturation, it's not getting buzzy or anything, but a lot more harmonic overtones and a lot of compression here. This is a lot of fun to play lead in this setting. So, a lot more saturation there, and again, if we want to really crank this thing. You can almost get into fuzz territory with this. Um, it's not where I would go with it, but you've got a lot of range on this. Now, the other thing to look at with a distortion pedal is what do we get when we feed it into an amp that's already in that sweet spot where it's just about to get crunchy. I'm going to switch this Hot Rod Deluxe over to the gain channel with a moderate amount of gain and we'll see how the distortion reacts to that. Okay, so here I am on a moderately crunchy setting. And I'm going to go back up in our top setting here because I just think it's a little bit more open whenever we're using the tubes in the amp. getting flubbery down on the on that low E string up high. Just very, very nice. Uh, whether you want to use this for your sound or to enhance a tube amp that's in the sweet spot, uh, this is a great distortion pedal. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of them in general. But uh, JHS is knocking them out of the park with this affordable $99 line of pedals. Um, this is it, JHS 3 Series Distortion. So if you got any questions on this pedal, any other pedal, guitars, basses, amps, gear in general, give the guys at moreguitars.com a call. They are the experts on every brand they sell, and it's their mission to set you up with the perfect gear for your needs. So give them a call today. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, all the social media junk, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. <laughs>